Greetings, Minecrafters. Nonsanity here, and welcome to episode eight. I've done a bunch in a row here, so I think it's episode eight of the Primus Dr Daybreaker series. Horizons 2, Feed the Beast. Uh, first thing, I'm going to make some cool armor. Let's get going. I've been waiting for this. I've been, I don't even have to go anywhere. I can do it right here. I've got all the materials. I have got the stuff to make the suit, the pants, the helmet, and that. So, battle suit, battle pants, battle helmet, boop, and battle suit boots. <laughs> and they're all powering up from my cubit. But that's just the first stage. Now, we're going to give them some additional stuff. I think the boots get one of these, and that. The helmet gets the eye, the pants get the lapis, and the chest gets the feather. All right, I think they're ready. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm ready for battle. Bring it on. <laughs> this is good armor. I got night vision, speed three, haste three, strength three, and water breathing three. I'm now much faster. No matter what it's going to be like on the uh, booster track here. Not much different. still faster than it can really go but I can fly I should have fall protection yep and the night vision and yeah this is good armor it's pretty invulnerable too let's go find a mob out in the wild here is anybody around it's it's daytime so there's nobody out here but now I can head off across the land, go to the nether, I'm ready to fight the dragon, I'm set. This is, <laughs> this is the good stuff. I will be back in a bit. Alright, something new. Uh, one of the other mods I'm going to get into is Aurora Cascade, and I know that I'm going to need some colored wool for that so i decided i feel like making a sheep farm i know there's lots of different ways to do this but uh, this is the way i decided to go i made another little room over here welcome to the sheep barn a little bit of decoration for some reason i've been in the decorative mood yeah and each of the sheep has its own little cage here hello sheep with grass to eat and I'm using progressive automation to do the shearing these are wooden animal farmers didn't need anything better than wood and I originally made a diamond didn't need it at all uh, make let's see go progressive uh, this is it yeah wooden animal farmer make that uh, logs, furnace, chest, shears. Not hard. And then you want to make the shearing upgrade, which is right here. Uh, stone, two wool, two leather, and shears. You drop that in here and it disappears, but it opens up this pocket over here for shears. Now you can put any shears in there. I chose the precision shears from Extra Utilities, which are rather expensive because it uses the unstable ingots. But I chose it because it has an EMC value, which is rather high, but uh, aside from the vanilla shears, it's the only one with an EMC value. I just wanted to be able to create them real fast. So, and these last a whole lot longer than the vanilla ones. This place has been running for about a day and a half, and it's so it's you know it's down about oh let's say it's a little less than a third down, a little more than a quarter. 
Maybe like... Yeah, that's about right. And then uh, to power it, instead of giving it coal here, I made this thing, which is the RF uh, upgrade, RF engine. Block of redstone, golden iron. Drop that in there, then you can attach... I'm doing this underneath. I've got some basic universal cable, just the basic stuff. Again, these don't take a lot of power. I have that being powered over here. On the bottom side of the cable, there is an RF exciter, so it's getting its power wirelessly. And what happened to... there it is. Put it back in there. There. And then I'm pumping the wool out from these transfer nodes, which go around and they come underneath this chest here, which has a, a hollow cover. You can see in the Wayla, it's one of the hollow covers. So the pipe comes up the underside of the chest, and it is full of colored wool. This is a day and a half. Let me sort it. I've been waiting to sort it, because I, I just like that. That looks cool. Sort it. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of stacks of every color here. And it's actually starting to build up in the machines. I think they all have two or three stacks growing in them. So very soon I can shut it down, and uh, yeah, I won't need more wool for a while, but I like this little interior barn using some carpenter's blocks and I'll basically just take out the chunk loader I have in here. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do that now. There we go. Because I don't think I need any more wool than this. This is pretty good. I've already taken a piece of each and taught it to the EE system. But, you know, I wanted to actually make it like I said, I, I'm using uh, uh, Equivalent Exchange to progress faster and smoother so I can spend my time making things. And it's more entertaining for you guys than me digging and mining and spending all my time doing that. But sometimes get, gathering the resources and building a machine to do it is a lot of fun. And uh, this is one of those. I, I got the idea for a barn in my head and I just had to do it. And I do note that I've got, I used, instead of fencing, I used glass blocks. This is chiseled to make it look like iron bars. And I've got a piece of grass underneath the glass, grass under the glass, on three sides of their own grass block. And that helps the, their grass regrow. And by putting it under glass, it doesn't go away. So, you know, you can see they've all... These guys have all eaten their grass, but it'll grow back pretty quickly. Nothing else here is speeding anything up. They're just natural growth, pretty much. In a day and a half, I got plenty of colored wool. To uh, get all of the dyes, all of them except one were easy enough. From just the few flowers I had found and around the world and lapis and bone meal and so forth. And that one was brown. I flew all over the map. Let me bring it up here. I flew and I explored down this side. I went down here, went up. And this was all snow, so I didn't stop and look. Just explored all around over here. And I couldn't find any jungle biomes. So no cocoa beans. And as I always do when I get stuck like that, I go and do a Google search on the internet to see if other people have had the same problem, if they have a solution. And somebody did, and this is it. Well, it wasn't as so much a solution as they were reporting a bug. Uh, this is Engineer's Toolbox. And I wanted to do some Engineer's Toolbox, but this is just, just to solve a problem, and I wasn't sure it was going to work. I didn't record it. But this is a modular socket. On the top I've got a, uh, an item input. And on the front here, I've got a grinder. On this side is a uh, machine output. And on the back is an energy input. Uh, the only configuration I did was using this tool, the rocket, the uh, socket remote, which if you crouch right click, changes colors. 
and it's the green one of the greens is great every time I start up I get inventory select mode okay so there's a it, it, it's here right now with a green dot but all I get is a flickering gray because that stupid Java 1.8 bug it's got the green dot on it and then you can right click on the top and it gives it that little green dot right click this side get that little green dot and right click on this side to get that little green dot and that connects their inventories so anything I put in the top will get ground up and spit out the side sort of uh, I don't I, I still need to look up more about how it's supposed to work those shouldn't be in there where is all my stuff there is a ton of stuff missing from this inventory whoa what happened blocks of iron and everything are gone something's wrong oh <laughs> there it is <laughs> at some point I typed a letter <laughs> Ugh. basic control circuit is blinking too it's always different every time my magnet back on too anyway bones somebody reported a bug that if you put bones into the grinder and you can see it's flickering there when it's done flickering instead of bone meal on the output you get cocoa beans I don't know if that's supposed to be nobody answered the guy's comment saying is this a bug uh, I would think you put it in a grinder you get bone meal but I do remember some Japanese researcher in the real world uh, deriving cocoa flavor from poop so hey maybe you can get it from bones <laughs> in Minecraft anyway it let me get cocoa beans without cheating it in I mean I, I could cheat it in I've got oh I've got op powers here but yeah, no I, I did it this way I still don't know why there are no jungle biomes. Maybe just bad luck for our seed. But uh, yeah, I was going to leave this here and show it to you. Now I'm going to get it out of the way because I'm not actually doing engineer's toolbox at this time. But I will save it for later. I'll stick all the little doohickeys in there. Uh, Hopper can go in there. Everything has a place. Okay. So we've got the wool farm. We've got all the colors of the dye. I think I put all the colors in here. So I've got all the dyes in here and all the wools in here for the future. I set this thing over to making stars because they hold more energy. But I'm definitely getting tons of them because I'm not really using the EE system too much. Oh yeah, one other thing I added over here. Uh, this is from RF Tools. Yellow is a receiver, green is a transmitter. So if I step into this, it sends me basically to where spawn is. If you see on the mini map there, if I bring it up the overhead map, spawn was somewhere around here. And I've made this little area for like a teleportation hub. Cat dog had made this nice bridge. You can see it down here. Nice bridge leading over towards his place, which is right there. But this uh, teleport hub have got a pad for each of the players that have been on when I was working on this. I got me, Cat Dog, who's really over there, but you know, I made one anyway. That dude, Chaos, and Brink the Gamer. And the others, as I see them online, I'll ask them where they want their teleporters. But for any of these, you just teleport. Takes you to wherever they wanted their pads. And then they have one that'll take them back to the hub. So go to that dude's place. Here's his place. He has a cow. Back to hub. And over to Brink. I won't look around because I know he's been doing work. And back. And all this is powered 
Oops. Nope, not that one. That one. Underneath here from my network. I've got an RF excited here. Uh, the screen controller is set to those four screens upstairs. I did a scan, connected them, that gives them power. And then each of the uh, machines has a power cable coming to the underside. Yeah, these are those same screens that I used my uh, for my evidence locker. And you can adjust where these link to if you need it to. Actually, I should move that down below instead of having that up here just so that nobody doesn't accidentally readjust where any of the pads are going. I'll pop it down here. So yeah, I can take Brink the Gamers and send it to CatDog instead and interrupt the current connection and dial the new one, but I won't do that. <laughs> So yeah, back to my place. Okay, so next, I'll be right back. Oh yes, there was something else that I did in the interim. Uh, open computers. I wanted to get into some of that and play around with the robots. Those look, look cool. Uh, so I built, so I got the materials, a tier three computer case, a tier three graphics card, Tier 3 central processing unit, Tier 3.5 memory, Tier 3 hard drive, a floppy disk, an EEPROM with the Lua BIOS, which I discovered when you craft the EEPROM, it's a blank one. Do not put the blank one into the computer. Instead, let's see, go to open computers. Instead, make the book. Where is their book? It's here somewhere. There it is. Make the Open Computers manual with the microchip. And then craft the EEPROM with the book again before you put it in the computer. If you do that, you'll get EEPROM with the Lua BIOS. Then you can put it in the computer. If you put the blank one in the computer, it'll be locked as blank and you will not, and crafting with a book won't do anything. And you need to have this in here to, to boot it. It needs the BIOS. So, unfortunately, let me turn it on. This is what the text looks like to me. I think this is another 1.8 Java graphics error, along with all these blinky textures. Because every time I restart the game, I get a different look to this. The characters are a different pet bunch of noise. So unfortunately, I can't use the computer at this time. I'm thinking I may try and manually recreate this pack using MultiMC and use Java 1.7. That may fix all my problems. But hopefully, hopefully they'll figure out what's going on here and fix it. I don't know. I'm waiting to 1.1.0 of the pack is the recommended version. I'll go on from there. I uh, from lat blocks I made this a, a note board. Uh, just each of these squares you can right click and enter in some text. So it's you know I've got just things I want to do. I want to do the uh, Central Craft 3 node containment. That'll probably be next episode because I want to keep all the Central Crafts isolated to its own uh, uh, episodes because a lot of people are interested in that and I want to keep the uh, tutorials free of all this other stuff as much as I can. Uh, Engineer's Toolbox, which I'm not going to do right away. This, these aren't in order. But I'll do eventually. Uh, I want to expand on the mob farm at some point. Or a cascade. Very soon I'll start on that. Clockwork phase. Maybe we'll do that now. Silica looks interesting, but I don't know enough to actually dive into it quite yet. Matter Overdrive. I've dabbled with it, but I couldn't get it to work in the Da Vinci pack. I'll try it again here soon. Do the Mechanism Fusion Reactor, because I do need some significant power at some point. That's significant power. Uh, refined Relocation. I want to mess around with that, but I'll wait, sort of wait until I have a use for it. Same with Router Reborn. They're, they do similar things. 
I'll play more with apple milk and tea when I'm not really busy and doing machines. Uh, blue power I'll do as I add, as I need it again. And Galacticraft. Eventually I want to go to see the new destinations available to us there. Particle physics, which I tried. Open computers, which I've tried. And immersive engineering, which is not in this pack yet. These three all have to wait until the pack is updated. So I'm thinking clockwork phase. So let's bring up clockwork phase. And does it have a book? I think it has a book. Maybe it doesn't. I do not see a manual or a book anywhere. But I know a little bit about it. So... Let's see. Well of time. Fork extractors. Which of these? Okay, this is what I want. Celestial compass core. I now have the gas tier, so I can go ahead and make this. I've got all the parts I need. So, let's just grab things from in here. Get an apple. Get some gold. A bucket of water glowstone. Tear bone feather. Bone. Feather. Tear. Surprised it doesn't have an ender pearl in there. <coughs> Flint glowstone, stone, water. Flint. Oops. Bucket of water. Come on back. Where are you? Stone. Something else. Piece of steel. Let's see how much I've got. Flint and steel. Apple. Gold. Oh, need a piece of redstone. That's faster. Redstone with gold for a clock. Looks like I might have everything now. No, nope, glowstone block. That should be everything now. No. All right, we'll just start putting it together here. Feather, bone, that, apple. If I remember all this, I'll be very surprised. Ooh, I got it. First try. Nice. All right, a little bit of extra gold and a bucket. All right, let's go down and pick a spot on the floor for this. I'm thinking over here is a good spot. Now, how big is it? Let's do it on the surface first. I can see how big it is. So, one, can't see. Give me some blocks. These are paintable blocks from lat blocks. They're sort of cool. One, two, three, four, five from the center. Yeah, these things, while well, I've got them out here, get a painter. You can shift right click a texture and paint it on. And each side can be different. Oh, I got the compass. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I can. 
paint with no I can only paint with that one piece no matter which part I get it's that's the piece I get or those from the side <laughs> interesting then when you break them they go back to clear and the painter has a certain number of uses so if I break this now so it's five out so I want two one two three four five and I'm right over the pit of course oh well the one in the middle one two three four five two three four five three four five need some place to put it. There we go. And it has this nice feature telling you where it needs to be freed. Oh, no, that was just right. Okay. All done. Still wish I had a book. I thought for sure there was a book on this stuff. Maybe it's not a book. Maybe it looks like something else. No, I don't see anything that even remotely looks like a manual. Bug swatter. <laughs> okay. Doesn't have a recipe. Now I guess normally people start with the tools, but I'm pretty good on tools. Oh, but I will need to make a tool because I need to get these nuggets. What's flickering around me here? Oh, I got there's one stuck under the floor. Let me give it an out. There we go. <laughs> so I guess I do need to make at least the clockwork pickaxe because I need to gather the dust. See, so is there any other way to make this stuff? Temporal ore berries? I've never found any ore bushes yet, but supposedly there are ore bushes for this stuff too. That'd be cool. No way to make the chips. It's only a way to temporal dust. There's a temporal ore. Huh. Or temporal. Nope, stop. Reset, clear. Uh, delete. New filter. Mod ID. Okay, it's listed in there. Actually, I want to tell it to... Fig. Replace with cobble. So I don't want holes. Okay, off. Max 90, 0, 32. Looks good. Start. Nothing. Okay. So, while it's in the, the mod, I don't think it's in the world. So, we won't be able to do that. That'd be a nice shortcut. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll build the rest of it. What are we going to need here? To make the pickaxe, we need brass ingot, a framework. So we do need to make brass. Uh, how many recipes for brass do we have? This is a good one. Iron, gold, brass. Okay. Let's get out some a stack of iron, mostly. That and we got some brass, okay. This is brass and iron, so get a bit more iron. And I think the iron was the corner. 
corners and the brass like this. Nope. Rotate brass in the middle. Alright, got a framework. Use the regular sticks. Got those. Brink is on the server. Alright. Give me a clockwork pickaxe. Now I'm going to need the clockwork assembly table, which is an iron gear surrounded by wood. So I wonder if I can use, I probably can't use magnanimous planks, so I'll get some regular oak. I'll get some, because I, I do want to use this stuff up if I can. Uh, let's just make this gear, because it's fast. Even though it uses one extra piece of iron. And surround that by wood. Ah, oh, good, it liked it. And I'm just going to slap it down here for the moment. That looks right. Now, to do a pick that can get the dust, the temporal, temporal dust, whatever it's called, it needs to have memory. Not all these gears have memory, but some of them do. Uh, the temporal gear, which I can't make because I don't have any temporal ore yet. Thaumium gear, we don't have Thaumcraft. Uh, rusty gear. Ancient coin. Legendary gear. They all have memory. Now, I do have some of those that I've got as part of loot. So back here I've got two ancient coins, a legendary gear, and four rusty gears. Also I want to have probably quality, better quality. So the best one for quality diamond or lead is pretty good. Diamond is better. So let's make a diamond gear. So let's make two. Let's make four, three. I know how to count. Three. Get some sticks. Give me three diamond gears. All right. So let's go into this thing here. Toss in can't shift click. All right. Three diamond gears. Doesn't matter where you put them. Legendary gear. Uh, let's see. Let's put these in and then three of these. What do we get? Wow, look at all that memory. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay. And then we got the one rusty gear left over. Now I'm going to need a good bit of iron. Put the uh, rusty gear away. And some of this other stuff. So in, in, is it in this one? Yes, in this table. All right, we need to make a mainspring, which is this. So I do need one of those sticks, which I got still good. I forgot to put them away. Click correctly. Surrounded by iron. Mainspring. So now you go into here. Click this. Mainspring. And I'm just going to put blocks of iron around it. That gives it 2,000 tension. Let's give it more. That's, that's pretty good. Can I do it again? Yeah, I can keep going. Alright, I'll just put a whole stack of blocks of iron on that. That's going to last it for a good long time. So now, go into... no. This mode. Put the clockwork pickaxe here and the mainspring here. They combine. And then combine it with the clockwork. And we get our first clockwork pickaxe which has 265 quality 271 speed 1249 chance of extracting time sand one in three not bad 
And now I should be able to take one of these ores. Uh, what's a good one to do? Let's do lapis. Oops. I want to keep some lapis in there. There we go. Let's just go down to the floor here. We got a bit more room. And lay out the lapis. Oh, I need to, to wind this up. Pop back. I need to wait, make one more thing. Uh, actually, I could have done it right there. I need to make the winding box. Two iron, five brass. Where'd my brass go? There it is. Two, three, four, five. Two iron. Like that. I'll just take it with me. Well, let's slap it down here and give it a try first. Make sure it get works. So you just right click your tool on it and it winds it up. Good. Alright, I'm going to take it with me. So I can wind it up on the go. So now... Ah, there's some dust. See the yellow, yellow particles? Is it collecting in here? Yep, time sand. 75 seconds of time sand. Alright. Whoops. Give me that back. Thank you. So I'll dig through all this and see how much I get when I'm done. This was a stack of lapis. Which also gets the, me the mitraline. Though, once you have that thing over there, you don't need to mine the mitraline because you can make it in that thing, I think. Or at least you can make the mitraline... I think if you put a piece of iron in there... What is it? That's not iron. Yeah, that is iron. Put a piece of iron in this thing. I think you get... No, I guess you don't. I thought that turned, changed it. I guess you put, have to put in the, the pink stuff. But anyway. So, how much did I get here? 5 minutes, 50 seconds. Not bad. So now let me go up, get some more ore. I put this stuff away. Mitraline in there. Lapis there. And... I still have 41 on me, good. So let's lay this out again. I'm going to do it a little bit more dense this time. Alright. So I think you crouch right click? No. Okay, it's got its own key, which I probably don't have set. Because I tend to clear out the keys I'm not using at the time. Clockwork phase, temporal ability, put it on G. Something's on G. Probably not something I need. Yeah. Get rid of that. Okay. So, G. Did that work? No, it's not working. thought that's how you get... Maybe it doesn't work with lapis. That's possible. I'll just break it the normal way here and get more of this time sand. Try a different ore. Maybe it has to be like iron or gold or something. Because it should have been giving me... Put this stuff away. should have been giving me a different... Oh, that's full. All right, we'll just burn it. So 
So we got here uh, plenty of copper, and I'm not really using copper, so let's grab that. I'll just try a little bit here and see how it does. Uh, G. No. It just gave me the, the horse back. <laughs> All right, uh, be right back. Let me look this up. Okay, it's not right click, it's left click. Or it's not left click, it's right click. There we go. Well, that was it. Wow, that didn't last too long. <laughs> well, at least because it's giving me the ore back, I uh, can just keep doing this over and over again, I suppose. I wonder if I can put it in an activator. As much iron as I put into its spring, it'll last a while. So, I only got three nuggets. Gee, right click. That's not enough to actually. So, you need more than one minute and. Oops. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have to keep leveling this up, but I'm starting to get the nuggets. And that's what I need. But we're over time, so I'm going to wrap it up here. And uh, say this is Nonsanity signing out. Take care, be good, and see you next time.